Hiya folks, I'm Grim, and welcome to Grim Grooves, a channel where I react to, and review, music of all kinds. Today, we'll be finally checking out Duel in the Mists, an Inazuma battle theme that I've been suggested a number of times, and being that I absolutely loved the Inazuma Symphony uh, Orchestra show that they did, and I've loved everything that I've heard from Inazuma so far, I'm assuming that I will absolutely adore this. It's almost guaranteed, but it's still very exciting to actually check it out because, again, I've heard very good things about this, and I can't wait to listen to it. But before that, if you got anything else you'd like me to check out, throw it down in the comments, because I couldn't do this without you guys and giving me so many amazing things to check out. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe, because I got two videos a day coming at this point, and all kinds of new stuff to check out. Like, there's always new stuff, and Not Lot is just around the corner, and there'll be a ton of new music from that, so... I'm excited to look into that as well because it's already set a really high bar with their symphony. So, without further ado, let's check out Duel in the Mist. Already, this is a really interesting theme to build off of, and uh, you can hear that little flourish that the the guitar player, whatever that instrument, guitar like instrument is, um, they just had a little flourish there, and I'm guessing it's going to go pretty wild with the intricacy of the strings that they play, and I'm excited because, again, like I said, as just a bass, this is a really nice like multiple string instruments and a little bit of a drum melody in the background, like it's setting up a really good bass to build off of and go. Pretty crazy. Let's go back five seconds and get that little flourish again. This is so intense, like, I mean, the three different string ins like, all it is is three string instruments and several drums, and they're just all going wild, like, each with their individual melodies, but it meshes together so well where it's almost seamless, the difference between the three of them, like, then, well, obviously the drums are set apart from the, but, I mean, the three string instruments, anyways, are very, like, they have, they're harmonizing to together so well where it's almost like one single instrument playing together. And it's so nice, like, the, and the frequency, like, the, the uh, frantic nature of the, the melody that they're playing and the strings, like, it's, it's so high energy and it's so intense. Like, this is probably a crazy battle theme to hear. Like, that's crazy. Let, let's get back into it and go back uh, 10 for this one. back before that breakdown again because that was really cool uh shift up but holy like 
this is just like blowing me away how interesting this is and how good it is and also like the visuals like the way that they filmed this is so cool just like sometimes it's just in shadows and you see the playing and the camera angles and stuff it's really well directed really cool to see like it's because it, normally I know I'm seeing the actual full symphonies and there's not a whole lot of cinematography other than just like panning around the individual instruments being played but this one has a little more of that and it's really cool to see but the melodies like it's such a really like hot frantic high hit like high paced fast paced I should say uh energetic melody and it's so cool like just again hearing all the different uh string instruments playing together and uh, you get that like diddle, 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 dun, dun, dun. like it's, it's such an interesting melody and then they're building off of that over and over again now they're about to shift it up to something completely different which I'm curious to see what it is so let's go back another five and get that again completely happy if this was just a string in like a string and drum song like because it was really solid without anything else but introducing that flute just brings it up a whole nother level like this is crazy i mean that the core uh string melodies that they're doing are already really intriguing and interesting and so fast-paced and frantic again it's a great battle theme uh based again and they just keep building on top of that and now adding in the flute instruments as well like it's just so like intense and so awesome. Like I, I get like blown away just trying to figure out like how exactly to explain just how crazy this is to me. Like, I mean, even after hearing the other Inzuma songs and stuff like that, like, cause they, they were very good music from everything I've heard from Inzuma so far, but I don't know. This is just the most intense that I've heard. And it's just blowing me away how good this is. It's like just the absolute, cascade of uh string instruments just going at you They're like being it's like an onslaught of the string instruments music and it's so good and then the drums are just like loud booming drums in the background like the marching order for the the battle ahead and things like that like it's awesome let's go back uh 10 here and get a little bit more of that flute action <laughs> camera angles look at that like wow but even like again the music is just phenomenal it's absolutely stunning like that one section there where it was like I, they're not banjos obviously but they kind of have the shape and style of a banjo a little bit but the two of them playing and then going back to the drums and back and forth from those two instruments back and forth and like it was such a nice melody and now they're building back into like the i guess chorus or main section of the song and again it's all flowing so well and again like the cinematography here is so cool to see and also the environment they're playing in like it's it's a really cool venue like this is stunning wow. duel in the mist <laughs> well
well worth the hype, 100%. Like, that was exceptional. Like, just absolutely blew me away. Like, again, I was blown away in the first half before the flute instrument came in. And after that, it's just... It's like a constant barrage of all, all these just really intense, crazy melodies they're throwing at you. And it just all blends together so masterfully. Like, uh, I believe this was probably done by Yu Peng Chen and because I, I believe Inazuma came before um, Sumeru and uh, Fontaine, where you only did half of them, which I've been told. I'm trying to keep it all straight, because it's all, like the timeline is all over the place, but I, I'm fairly new to this, of course, so I'm, I'm learning. But it's really interesting and so complex, the melodies here, even though it's only like four instruments that they're playing, like a couple kinds of drums, a couple string instruments, and the flute whatever kind of flute instrument that is obviously I, I don't know the exact specific names of these specific ones because uh, keeping track all the names of every instrument especially ones from other countries with from, with names I don't know it's it's hard to keep track but I still do my best again I'm not an expert in these more technical matters but it's still crazy to see like it's so impressive how well this was done and such an interesting and different battle theme style than what we've heard before with uh, the Red and Shogun uh, themes as well as the the music that was in the Inazuma Symphony like it's just such a drastic difference and so intense like <laughs> it was awesome like I, I'm very glad you guys suggest this to me because it blew me away like absolutely blew me away <laughs> but anyways if you got anything else you'd like me to check out throw it down in the comments and hit the like button and subscribe as well because again I've got so much more on the way and this is just the beginning so I'd come along for the journey if you'd like at the end of this song, I've got a song from my uh, playlist, over 10,000 songs you can check out if you like, that will probably have some kind of correspondence to this as best as I can. But anyways, until next time, later days, folks. The Green Reaper came to collect his death.